you just mentioned kind of relating it back to your playing days. Yeah. Gronk was on the show and he talks all the time about how he never watches film. He never watched any film, apparently. Is that the Patriot way? No. <laughs> no. Gronk played so much. I mean, they could only do three things, like four things. You know what I mean? To, to him, I mean, it's right. either too high where he's bending it or it's single high where he's staying up the scene <laughs> and it, then blows Un- someone up. Unstoppable. Yeah. <laughs> you know, he was the crazy thing about Gronk is Gronk's low key like Rain Man. Dude, dog. Like, I can see you it. throw numbers out there. Gronk knows numbers real well. When the coach would get on him early in his career and like he never made that mistake again. Like he his football knowledge is like outrageous. So if it huh. he does sees it once and he does it, yeah, it's there for good. And that's just how he was. He was like a huh. savant when it came to like fucking rain man. So, definitely. You throw out like contract numbers. I would walk by the hallway, and be like, yo, what's the square root of like a thousand twenty two? He'd be like sixty four or whatever. I'd be like, What? Have you ever been to the casino with him? I tried to bring him once. But he, he can't hide him. Everyone comes up to him. Yeah. You know, and it, it wouldn't be good with the eye in the sky. Time. I got, I'm, I'm Gronsky. It would be signal. It would be terrible. It would be terrible. But he's, he's, a fuck, he's a smart football player. Bro. He was at tight end you, man. And when I tell you his passion for his fucking teammates, man. Yeah. And it seemed like you guys all played with that in, in New England. It was like the only way that you made the team is if you played for the guy next to you. Yeah. When, when he came on the show i think that was one of the bigger things even just talking you get that right away yeah there's a perception i feel like of gronk where he's like the big dumb jock i feel like like he's got the new york accent he ran people over but like you actually sit down and talk to him it's like man this dude's like he's he's flanking yeah for sure he's flanking flanking (laughs) god i love he ain't flanking flanking. he's going right to your face right he is yeah that's that's all manpower right there i remember his rookie year remember kevin vandebosch yeah of course. He ended his career. You remember the little toss crack? Oh, yeah. it, was, it was early when the toss crack was coming. You where you, You'd come in, you sneak him. Now everyone knows the toss yeah. crack. Oh, the tight end's coming from outside. Here comes. Tight end comes in, comes down on Van, Van Bosch, breaks his neck. And Van Bosch was getting all up in him all game. Like, hey, puppy, I'm coming after you. And like Gronk hits him. And, and like. That was it. And Van Bosch just got paid like a boatload of money. He was like the man for that that time. Of the, it was 2010. So. Is this when he's in Detroit? Yeah. Yeah. It was crazy. He just came down. Bop. Yeah, he was like a intimidating player on the field. He had like red eyes or something like that, right? Yes. Then he had like a special contact. I think it was before. I don't think you ever played Van Bush, did nope. you? Nope. Yeah. yeah. Well, he was Gronk crazy. Broke his neck. <laughs> Gronk ended that. I think yeah. he. I, I don't know if he ended it, but he he broke his neck or back that that game. Uh, it was he, crazy because it was like he was a monster. He was a monster. You had to game plan for a guy like him all week. We've been talking. This Van Bush guy could ruin the fucking day. We got to get him blocked. Da, 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 da. And Gronk goes in, pop, knocks him out. Out of the game, and blowing them out. That's a good way to. Damn, I love football back in the day. 